Oh. Excuse me. I have a question. I'm trying to get to Starbucks. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me how to get there? Yeah, so you bust the Yui mm. and you head straight. Mm. And then you're right. Okay. And it will be on your right hand side. Oh, uh, okay. And you can't miss. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, got all right. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. bye. Did you get all that? I mean, I did, but that's because I'm a native speaker. But if English isn't your first language, then you may not have understood all of that. Now, I know, I know we all have Google Maps now, but what if you're in a foreign country and you have no Wi-Fi or your phone dies? Then what are you gonna do? It's still important to know how to give directions the old fashioned way by asking for them. Even basic directions can be difficult if native speakers start using colloquial speech or slang while they're giving you directions. So today, we're gonna learn how to give directions like an American. Normally, you may have learned to say the word go. Native speakers will often use head instead of go. So in this example, And you head straight? They use head down the street instead of go down the street. For instance, let's head down the street, or I'm going to head to the store, let's head home. That's a really common one. For turns, instead of saying turn left or turn right, it's more common to say take a left or take a right, or even hang a left or hang a right. And hang a right. Okay. And it's very colloquial. Also to remember, take is a general word to mean do or go. Take the next exit, or take a left, or take a right, or take first street, take a hike. That last one was a joke, I actually don't use that. Making a U-turn. Yeah, so you bust the Yui. Mm. So this little sign, there's many ways to call it. Some people say, make a U-turn, or bang a Yui. Flip a bitch, but that's, that's kind of a crass way to say it. Or flip a Yui, flip a U-turn. Or you can just simply say, let's turn around. When you get close to the location, to describe the exact location of where you're going, you will use a landmark and then describe where it is compared to that landmark. So if it's here, you would say, it's just past the Starbucks. Or if it's over here, you would just say, it's right before the Starbucks. And if it's on the left or the right, you would say it's on the left-hand side. Or if it's on the right side of the road, you'd say it's on the right-hand side. And it will be on your right-hand side. Oh, okay. Same as Chinese. Now the final phrase that native speakers like to use is you can't miss it. Oh, okay. And you can't miss it. So if it's something big and obvious, like, like a baseball stadium, or maybe a skyscraper, then yeah, you can say you can't miss it because you, it's so big you can't miss it. But in general, hate this phrase because what if they say you can't miss it and I miss it? Then I, there's pressure on me. Then I look like an idiot and then, then I feel bad. That's not cool. Like, God, I need a glass of water. Here's a quick summary of some of the simple directions that we learned today. And of course, as always, a quick quiz to help you remember. Alright guys, I hope you learned how to give directions like an American. You guys know the drill. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave comments and feedback and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace.